What is good? Oh, Tell you what, man. Again, hashtag not sponsored. It is nice, like, to have, like, a cool, yet, uh, a little bit of caffeine drink when I do this. It's man alive. I feel like sometimes I get to the end of my day and I'm just like, don't have this magical energy to be like uh, you know to, to give the stream that I I want so a little something to give me a pick me up there <laughs> I'll tell you what it's a good thing my logo didn't end up yet so one of the early ideas I had for a logo um, was actually for it to be a 72 done in the style of Mountain Dew. Thankfully, when the guy who made it, um, when Minty Face goes through around here a fair amount, he, he did it. So, is that on the right screen? That is on the right screen, okay. Oh, but that's not, this is not Pokemon Yellow. This is Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. What did he do this time? Um, not sure who you're referring to. If you're just referring to me, um, I don't think I did anything. Um, but yeah, Minty, when he made my logo, he he was like, he did it in the style of the back of a magic card. Um, and I liked how that looked, so I didn't really push. Oh, Minty Face made my logo. And I was just saying one of the early ideas for my logo was to have it based on the Mountain Dew style. So it would have been a 72 with Mountain Dew. And had I done that, I would have worn my mount. I like. I would have my low. My whole like image would have been completely different. I would have totally gone all in on the fact that I'm just this gamer that loves Mountain Dew, and like, I would have worn my Mountain Dew shirt every stream, and I would have had a 20 ounce of Mountain Dew with me every stream. So I guess my dentist is a lot happier that 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 universe didn't happen. Only a 20, well, I mean. I would personally argue that a 20 ouncer of Mountain Dew every week is probably still too much, but. Mm. Or two 20 ouncers, depending on which week. And yeah, I mean, I guess on a really busy night, I could have more. Yeah, that was what I was worried about. Uh, so, while we were gone, I was supposed to do a lot of training, and I did, like, one night's worth of training, and then did not do what I was supposed to, so... Um... I'm not really sure how to handle this. Well, for starters, I have to surf back at bare minimum. Oh, wow, I'm like a lot of levels below. I should not be using Aflac Avenger here. Uh, 
Um, God, I am like so out of it. I don't remember anything. It's almost like it's been two weeks since we last did this. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, the more I think about it here, I just, I'm, I'm realizing, like, I really can't go into this fight under level. Like, it's, this is going to be a hard one as it is. I mean, I guess Sushi should have a good matchup here. So wait, who, who all does he even have? He's got. I'm, maybe I'll just look it up and see if Sushi looks like he's gonna beat it, and if so, we'll just go in and do it. What am I doing here? Oh my goodness. It's Chub Toad! That's it? Wow, Chub Toad is awful. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Yes, let's go. Black Avengers, now a higher level. It's trying to learn confuse. Hey, there we go. Can't teach him that shit. Uh, disable some useless. A man time? That's kind of cool. I didn't even know you could find Mantines out here. Um, unfortunately, I'm really not... I can't catch it. That sprite's really cool. It even has the little uh, Remoraid underneath. Alright. Uh, Thundershock this guy. Should be double super effective, so I think this should be a one hit. Yep. Nice job, Rose. I'll have to see what my party should actually be because I again I had sort of planned a really cheesy like parts team to go in and do it um, but clearly that didn't actually happen so now I have to get creative I appreciate the praise Ava Mara. Well, it was. I had taken a bunch of Pokemon that I wasn't using anymore. 
and I was I was all like, oh, they these all are like you know bugs and have psychic moves and stuff, and I was gonna go in and just be like, hey, I'm my party is good against your party. So they're all fighting types, and then as soon as I was done, switch back to the my regular Pokemon. Hugs with Psyche. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know how that... I, I don't know how this little... You know, it's... It, like, baby venom... A moth. It's essentially a baby moth right now. I don't know how the... The gnat that becomes a moth... Knows how to do psychic moves, but it... It does. It's magic. I also don't know how the duck with a headache has psychic powers either, but I guess I'm questioning all this about a world where I keep monsters in little sized balls and battle them with others in the street, and that's somehow acceptable. No, we. <laughs> it is interesting. We we as a society in America, we're pretty. I think it's pretty universally, like, ex uh, basically, like, having animals fight each other for sport is, like, morally wrong, right? I think we all agree on that, right? Like, like the, the dog, when Michael Vick was found of the dog fighting stuff, that really hit home with a lot of Americans. We, like, that's really, really not okay. So what does Pokemon do? Our entire existence is about enslaving monsters and having them fight each other for sport. Yeah, you can make the argument, well, at least we're not doing it to the death, but like, you know, come on. Come on. What do you... And clearly, I'm okay with it. Like, it's, it's a fun game, and like... They do, they do, they do a good job of not me despite it being a seemingly violent sport they're doing the actual contents of like the show and here don't make it seem too violent so like you know they they don't die they faint they uh they get tired they're too tired to fight mm. I don't know. I, again, I clearly don't have a problem with this as I continue to play it. Um, but it's just interesting that if, if the same thing happened in the real world, I would have a major problem. Okay, like right now, I have a, I have a major problem with this. Okay, uh, switch to Rose. Fun fact, tentacru wild tentacruels have functionally no way to hurt Rose. Like, they can use Constrict... And they, I guess they can confuse it. But like, look how little. The, one damage. Cool. And they're cute. Well, exactly. The Pokemon are cute and they're fun. And they, in the, in the game, it's kind of implied that they like battling and like getting close to the trainer. Um. But like, in if this were to happen in the real world, I think we would all re very much be against like Pokemon fighting each other. All right, so since I'm not doing my awesome, wonderful training strategy, I just have to go in with what uh, the best mons I got and just hope that's good enough. All right, so. Yeah, we were training our Spinarak there, America, and even Chub Toad. It was going to be all... Uh, the crowd was going to be so into it, and I went and completely dropped the ball. So, uh, y'all can hate me. Peter, <laughs> Great. Um, so that being said, I mean, part of the reason I felt the need to go get more Mons is because, like, look, look like... Pain Deer and The Rock are great, but, like, they're not going to have 
anything to say against these fighting types. That being said, I am going to take the Quick Claw off of... No, no. I'm going to take the Quick Claw off of the rock and put it on something else. I haven't decided what yet, but... No, I don't want to move his moves. I want to take the Quick Claw... I mean, part of the problem is, I guess I just don't know, though, what would I take in in exchange? Like, especially in those last fights. I mean, I might just have to go in with this team, and that, like isn't ideal, but, like, I just don't... S I mean, there's a... So there's an argument... The 22... The level 22 um, tentacle isn't exactly game-breaking, but fighting... T so, all right. So here's what, here's what I wanted to do here. So let's... Let me grab a... So let's look up Chuck Pokemon. All right, so what's he got? This is the only one we care about. So he's got a level 27 Primeape and a level 30 Poliwrath. So the Surf is problematic and the Dynamic Punch is a little annoying too but I th think we can more or less so I think Gyarados matches up pretty well though there um as he does he against Primate now the, the negative here is that not like he's not gonna be super effective so there's a <sighs> is there any way I can fight Primate with something else on this team. I could probably beat him with Crocs. I think I would need to teach Crocs Surf which I'm going to do now. I've sort of been holding on to Ice Punch because I had enough Water-type move users, but I think we just need to bite the bullet. And teach him that. And I'd happily teach it over Cut, but that you can't. I can't make him forget Cut. Um, yeah, we're just going to go Ice Punch. Okay. I'm not a bully, as an aside. I don't think I missed that. Shadow Wolf. All right. Um, I think this is just as good as it, one of those it's just as good as it gets kind of thing. Um, So I'm gonna give him the quick claw for now. Kyle the quick claw, so see if we can we can get him some experience during this. Um, and then once we get to the the fight, do I have a bitter berry? Because or have I not been a bitter? This is like the one time a bitter berry would be really helpful. And I've, I do. I have a bitter berry. Nice. All right. Cool. So. I can't do in-game healing items, but I can do held items. By, per my rule, hence the, I've been using the Quick Claw this whole run. So I can give him a Bitter Berry. So, if, uh, if Sushi gets hit by a Dynamic Punch. So Dynamic Punch has a low hit rate, 
but it does have this really annoying side effect of um, sorry I'm thinking out loud here um, it does have this really annoying side effect uh, of when it does hit the thing it hits instantly gets confused um, I'm coming back here because I'm thinking I am going to bring in noodles the tentacruel over Rose. I just, Rose isn't going to be quick enough. Like, and if Rose, I don't think Rose is going to be able to survive any of Polyrath's moves. I think Noodles could tank a hit, at which point we might be able to get some damage or some, or something. And since I can't, I don't have any super effective ways to fight any of his mons, Noodles will be ready to go. Slash in any of these fights, we can sort of switch in to noodles and not worry too much. I am going to teach him. Sur I feel like I'm teaching Surf to like everything here. Like, holy smokes. We will teach Surf to noodles. Half my team is just like a Surf team. Uh, we don't need poison. St I mean, I don't need constrict either now that I think about it, but whatever. They're both useless moves. Um, I do. Sushi knows suit. Sushi. Sushi knows headbutt, so that's that'll get to use his attack stat. It also has dragon rage, with the, which at this point is still. Is this your only? <laughs> it sure feels like it, Shadow Wolf. <laughs> it sure as hell feels like it. Uh, the only negative about keeping um, Kyle up front here is actually that he's going to take a fair amount of abuse. I guess I can always switch into Sushi if worse comes to worse. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be wrong. Oh, isn't that just adorable? Black Belt Yoshi. Hitmonlee. It's not going to do very much. Okay. That's not bad. We'll see how much this does. So I learned recently, like, I was looking at uh, Slowpoke stats, and, like, I'd always... I was... We might have to get Kyle out of here. Yeah, I think we got to get him out. Um, we'll switch into Sushi. Fine. Uh, Dragon Rage should be. Nice. Uh, but at any rate, what I was trying to say before I got very scared for my uh, Kyle the Slowpoke, this isn't real. I got bad news for you, Yoshi. It's very real. Just like I'm getting, bu I'm getting bullied here. Y'all make fun of me for being the bully. No, here I am. I'm the Hitmon Chan, huh? Uh. So I think I'm. This is a, This is gonna seem weird. I think this is a basically safe switch into the raw. Well, he does no ice punch. Ugh. This might be a safe switch into. Deer. I don't think he know Chipmon Chan actually knows any fighting type moves. He's just gonna know all the punches. Yeah, like Thunder Punch, but this isn't gonna do very much. Yeah. Alright, so now we can headbutt this thing. Thunder Punch, that's fine. Yeah, Hitmon Chan is like <laughs> secretly really bad in these early games because he doesn't, uh, he, they, his whole thing is that he knows all the punch moves, but then, like, the punch moves aren't, 
any good um, on him because he has such low special. Also, hello, Minty Face. Welcome. We were talking about you before, Minty Face, about how uh, my dentist owes you one. So, um, one of my early ideas for my logo was going to be a 72 done in the style of Mountain Dew. And that, as part of that whole gimmick, I would wear a Mountain Dew shirt every stream, and I'd, like, always have a random 20-ounce with me. And I would just drink a bunch of Mountain Dew. And by uh, by you making it a Magic the Gathering-based logo, uh, that did that universe did not come to, for, uh, to life. And thus, I don't drink that much Mountain Dew. So my dentist is, uh, a little bit happier. Words are useless. Let your fists do the talking. Okay. Your wallet does... Well, my wallet already... It was already kind of mad at me, so I don't, I don't think... Uh, I don't think that made it much worse. And that's why his dentist is out of a jaw. Yeah, well, trust me on that. That's not true. Shouldn't do too much. Oh, but what I was been trying to say, I always thought I was like, "Geez, slow poke special in this is garbage. Why is his special so bad?" I thought I remember slow bros special being good, and I was right. Slow bros special is good. Slow pokes special is really bad. Like not even and not even proportional. Like it like is worse than his attack and defense and then when he evolves they get better than his attack and defense it's a really weird situation and on top of that it happens so late slow poke doesn't evolve to like level 38 so i'm stuck with this useless thing seismic toss i mean that's a decent chunk i guess it's plus safe thing to take, but man, that was not very much. It's... We might have to switch out of this, and the worst part is whatever we switch into is going to take a decent hit mm -hmm. off of Seismic Toss. Let's get Crocs in here. Crocs can basically take whatever he... If he does another seismic toss, yeah. Alright, and then we finish this off with Headbutt. Good. Not much to say, huh, bud? All right, so do, can I heal up? I really don't want to have to walk back again. All right, I got a couple of super po I got a super potion. Oh. Ugh, do I have like a berry or something? I really don't want to have to walk all the way. Do I have a gold berry? Ugh. That's a held item though. So that's like potentially good. Here we go. A berry berry is like, I don't want to say useless, but it's not great. And then we can use the super potion on Crocs. Cool. I'll have to buy some more healing items, but I, again, I don't need a ton of them since I can't use them in battle anyway. They're strictly for convenience. I'll use strength. Uh, is Kyle still at the top? He is. All right, cool. My raging fists will shatter your Pokemon. Okay. Mankey. Go, oh, Kyle. It's annoying. Or. Fine. 
It's confused. All right. Ugh. All right, that's fine. Bounty's manky, that's fine. Oh. Gonna have to be a little more creative than that, manky. Hey, a crit. You take those. Alright, let's fight Primeape. Wow, Primeape is really slow, or it did, like, counter or something like that. Oh, no, it's none of that. My Quick Claw just happened to work. Mm -hmm. Forgot I had that equipped. That's a good thing I did, I suppose. Though it's <sighs> okay. If you heard itself, that'd be kind of cool. Nice, nice and easy. Got shattered. Bet you did. Uh. I think I have to walk back, though. I really shouldn't. Like, even though my plan isn't to use Kyle, like... I, 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 I don't think I can justify going in this fight without a, a full health team. All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna we're gonna use um, we're gonna use Crocs to fight Prime Ape, and we're gonna give him a Gold Berry. Since I realize I have a Gold Berry, and that healing for thirty is pretty nice, so we'll give that to Crocs. Next run, no out of battle items except story required. Yeah, yeah, that's pro. I mean, there's an argument I should have done that here, but I never, I never did. I guess that is a little. The I items are are really good in this game, even with limited health items. So I guess, I guess moving forward, that probably should be a rule with the nuzlo with these nuzlocks. It's one of those things. Like, I do want to make these, like, interesting. Um, at the same time, it's sort of like, what's your rule here? Um, I can't use items in battle is currently the rule. And that's, like, the rule I've always sort of played with, but I never said anything about using items like like outside of uh, outside of battle and I also never said anything about giving items so I'm sort of cheat I'm sort of making it easier on myself so come this far let me tell you I'm tough my Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones watch this <laughs> There. Scared now, are you? What? Is nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Alright. I'm not I did not level up where I should, so we'll see if I get punished for that. Alright, Crocs. Um we use surf here. That was lucky. Alright. So, half. That's pretty good. And all he's going to do is counter with Fury Swipes. It's actually not bad. 
We got a little luckier that time, but we're doing fine. All right, finish him off, Crocs. Are you kidding me? I was really hoping he would do like, like try to heal it or something. Useless crit. All right. So Crocs did his job. Now it's time for Sushi to do his. Against Chuck's ace, his Polyrath. I guess we just use Headbutt. All right. Flinch, we take that. <laughs> I'll take it. Dynamic punch. All right, so he might heal here. But if up, oh. we did it. Nice job, Sushi. Worthy of Storm Badge. Well, I guess I didn't get punished for that. All Pokemon up to 70 obey you. Use Fly. TM1, which is Dynamic Punch. Doesn't always hit when it does, it causes confusion. So, oh, now that I've beaten Chuck, this lady will give me um, much easier for Pokemon to know how to fly. That's Sinnoh with Gym Badge. You should take this HM. So now I know fly. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly to anywhere you've visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck's wife, uh, Chuck's wife was all like, hey man, thanks for the, thanks for the win there. He was, uh, he's getting a little, uh, sloppy, you know what I'm saying? Didn't fit in those jeans like he used to. Rude. Alright, um, that being said, so now let's set up our party the way we want to. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Uh, I want to take all the items off of everybody before I start messing with the party here. Okay. Um, take the gold berry from Crocs. Take the bitter berry from Sushi. And take the quick claw from Kai. Noodles probably is not going to be a part of this team. The question becomes really like who does though? Uh, so we know Rose is in. That's right, we, lo uh, we lost our dear friend Fluffy. May he forever rest in peace. I mean, he was already dead, so like, I don't think he's any more dead. I think I just let him out into the world to go be fluffy somewhere else. I think that's how being a ghost works. It's like, you can't kill me anymore. I'm already dead, so I'm just gonna go fly around. But, uh, I always felt like when you released a Pokemon, you should have a chance to see them again. I know why they didn't do that, because, like, that's a lot of stuff to keep track of in-game. But, like, still, uh, I always thought that could be, like, a fun, like, little tidbit thing. Like, oh, you run into your thing every so often. Thus, you could, if you wanted to, recatch it. 
Um, so then, right, so right now, basically, the question is, do we want Smash Main, or do we want Crocs? <sighs> Crocs is the better Mon in a nutshell. However, I did teach we, uh, Smash Main all the punches, so it's it's more flexible. I think we are, I think with that in mind, we're going to go, um, we're going to go with smash main here we'll put it up front so it gets some good training um and we'll kind of just bank on the fact that uh you know because it's more flexible that's more valuable than having another water type that specializes in physical attacks right now which is uh, kind of what Sushi and Kyle are doing. Now, Kyle will eventually get good special, but st that's still not a for another, like, ten levels. So we're, we're still talking of quite a wait. I don't have any flying s Pokemon, so I'm, I have no choice but to surf back the way I came, which actually works out. It'll let uh, Smash Main get that training in, so... Uh, especially because I know Thunder Punch. Really? Mother Puss Bucket. Do I have an antidote? So, again, I really don't want to have to walk all the way back. I have a full heal. That I mean, like, on the one hand, it shouldn't matter. I'm really lazy. I, I just, I really don't want to have to walk all the way back. Nice evening for a surf. All right. Knock it out. Constrict, that's fine. I didn't realize that there was a spare trainer left. No inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to see Pokemon. Okay. Um, let's see how tough this chick is. I mean, I should be fine. Star, are you at level 19? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Smash main can deal with this. Rapid spin. You're gonna have to do a little better than that, Staryu. Nice. About to use Shelter. Smash Man's got this. Nice. Staryu OG. Gen 1 sprite. That does seem to be what that was. With some coloring. It is interesting which ones they like completely redid and which ones they sort of just took the original one and touched up. Like, like that's basically all they did with Caterpie and Metapod. Like those are basically just the Gen 1 sprites but with some touch up. Meanwhile, Weedle and Kakuna are completely redone. Uh, or Star oh, I don't know how the heck it I randomly reorganized these for like no reason. Yeah, Star you meanwhile is basically just the Gen 1 sprite, but with some touch up slash coloring, I guess. Cool. So it is worth noting 
for those paying attention at home, um, I don't actually know Exeggutor. Uh, yeah, that's just the Gen 1's... Well, I think it's the yellow sprite touched up, right? Am I misremembering that? I've always found, I gotta say, like, I like the lighthouse in concept. In practice? Unsure. Sure. We could always take a peek. Um, but I, I like this in concept. But in practice, like, because there's like no mons you can run into in the castle, if you or the lighthouse, it's just a you just have to walk a bunch, just a bunch of walking. I handed the secret potion. Please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very much. I'll return to the gym. Interesting. <laughs> well, uh, fun fact, uh, it's time for another gym battle, um, which means we need to think of our team again. Um, so I'm thinking, man, I was so excited to get Rose, and this is the second fight that I'm determining I, it's literally better to not have Rose as part of the team. Um, I, like, Crocs is actually just better here. Like, Crocs might actually be what I use against uh, uh, her Steelix. Alright. Um, that being said, so she starts off with a Magnemite, so we're going to have the Rock take care of that. Sometime, I, it's unclear. I think if she sees the type disadvantage, she'll switch into Steelix before the last, the second Magnemite. Um, why am I bringing this up? I want to look up Exeggutor. Uh, Gen 2 Sprite real quick. So there's... Scroll down to sprites. There's so much information, dude. Yeah, yeah, his Pokemon Gold and Crystal sprite is literally just his yellow sprite, but with more uh, with more color variation in the palette. Also, as an aside, like. Exeggutor's original sprite is terrifying. Like, what, what is this face here? Like, that is... That is something special right there. Wow. Uh, but yeah, so... I'm not sure what's going on there. Alright, um, with that being said, I think we got the team we need. Let's get a second gym badge. We, we're cranking these badges out, people. Um, all right, that being said, let's give some... Um, give the gold berry to Crocs. And we'll give the quick claw to... 
Actually, I'm gonna give the bitter berry to the rock because those those magnemites know supersonic. So, all right, let's do this. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. Um, may I begin? Yeah, sure, lady, sure. Level third. Oh, her Pokemon are a lot stronger than I remember them being. That. All right, so the, that's what I'm talking about. So he'll eat up the bitter. He eats up the bitter berry. Magnitude seven. That double super effective should be enough. All right, she'll probably go straight for Steelix. It's about to use Steelix. Yeah, she doesn't. She, for some reason, she does not wait to use her ace. She's all like, let's do this. So. <sighs> Level 35. All right. Surf's up, dude! Sunny day? Steelix knows Sunny Day? So now... No, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. So now, Sir Water's Power is halved. I think it still makes sense to use Surf here, but... Oh, man. That sucks. Yeah, that... Did. Iron Tail... Man, that Iron Tail's so bad. Is a hyper potion on Steelix. No, it, it does make Surf very weak. I just don't know, like, what else am I supposed to do? Uh, Iron Tail does suck. Like, Steel type moves in gen in this gen are like so hilariously bad. I don't know if it's because they thought they were attaching them to super strong Pokemon. Crocs can, all right. Oh, with the gold berry, Crocs can take a bunch more hits. That should be that should be game. All right. Didn't even really need the gold berry, but it's fine. There's an argument that if we just keep bringing Crocs back, we should just keep him. I just hate that the inflexibility it creates for our team, but. All right, and now we'll have The Rock finish off Magnemite. For his sake. I mean, I just need to get one. You just need to hit. You just need to hit. Six. I'm not sure. I guess double super effective. That's good enough. You are a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. There we go, team. Another victory. And TM23, that's Iron Tail. You could use that TM to teach Iron Tail. I would, except for Iron Tail, like, sucks a lot. So there is this argument that if, again, if we keep just like going back and, wait, did I miss World? I feel like I'm supposed to have Whirlpool by now. Wait, no, no, I don't think that's, when am I, when do I get Whirlpool though? 
I don't actually, like, know. Like, J I don't know Gen 2 as a whole Pokemon. Um. Oh, I guess. I guess that's HM6 is probably more of what I should be looking up here. Oh my gosh, I don't need to see every Pokemon that's ever. I just want to see where do I get HMs. Okay, so never mind. HM6 Pokemon Crystal. Uh, from get from Lance and Team Rocket Hideout and oh, so yeah, I'm I'm good. Is she hitting on you? I don't I don't think she was. I think she's just like a shot. I, I think the lore is that she's like your age and she just became a gym leader, so she's like all self conscious and like shy. It is interesting that we just keep using uh, Crocs. But, I mean, the good news is we can always just go get him if we need him. The other cool thing is once um, Kyle actually gets to a high enough level, like, he'll be a lot more useful. All right, so actually, let's... How many, how many Pokeballs do I have? I only have eight Great Balls. We'll buy some more. Pop it off. All right, and then we'll buy some super potions. Again, strictly for convenience sake. Um, couple antidotes. Again, I, we don't need a lot of these. These are just so like, if I do, if a Pokemon gets poisoned or something. Again, there's an argument. I shouldn't even be doing that in these kind of runs, but like, I haven't been playing that way up to this point. We can review in the future if that's how we play or not, but. I assume we just go this way. I don't see why we wouldn't. Got everything we want. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep on rocking. Oh, an Ultra Ball. It's pretty dope. Um, I do not want to surf. I want to fish. So this area is weird in that, like, you don't get a lot of options here. So we're just going to use the good rod and see what comes up. I guess I could have headbutted the trees, but, like, the tree Pokemon all suck. Like, what was I going to do there? I guess, though, it's more diverse than getting another water type I don't need. Though I guess, I guess there's an argument that I'm just, <laughs> you know protecting myself from accidentally uh, losing an HM slave that I need. Cool. There's a great ball here. All right, chat, get ready. You're going to get to nickname a Goldeen. Are you kidding me? Well, the good news is I never plan on attacking again, so that's that's fine. I can't believe that didn't catch it. It's like, come on, dude. <laughs> Horn boy. Dur during spawning season, they swim gracefully in the water, searching for their perfect mate. 
Horn Boy Nemo. It is worth noting that this Goldeen is, is according to the game, a female. Horny boy. Uh, okay, so my only thing is, again, it's it's a girl, so like I don't want Lady Nemo. I actually. So wait, it's. <sighs> I'm kind of leaning towards Lady Nemo. Mrs. Po. Okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> so I like Mrs. Puff. It's just that it's like it's not really like there's a, there is a quailfish in the game. So like that one is like would be a Mrs. Puff. Um, I'll take Milf or Lady Nemo. Which um, I see the thing with Milf is that it's like like obvious. I'm kind of leaning towards Lady Nemo unless. When a clownfish has no female. So, so Nemo is fine? Oh god. Well, I guess I guess by that logic. I'm cool with that. Anybody else? Five. Four, three, two. The more you know. Nemo was sent. All right, well, horny Nemo. Oh, God, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> well, we can all just assume that Nemo is really horny. Mount Mortar. So normally I don't walk through this place. I sort of don't want to do that here anyway. Name change. Oh, God. Um, I guess let's fight this dude. I'm not losing this time. This time? What? Did you lose last time we fought? I don't know who you are. Pokemaniac Miller. That's a Nitto King. It's a lot lower level, but ooh. When it evolves, you just name it Drag King Nemo. Oh my god. What's? Because she becomes a sea king. Oh, for pity's sake. We'll see. There's not a. There's a very good chance we don't even use it. What, Nitto Queen? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you and your double kicks. Are you kidding me? You lost some kid? Yeah, I... I nearly... I took too much damage from a thing with level 17 Pokemon, dude. We're all in the same boat. A useless item that we will sell. Is there nothing here? I also have an... Okay, this is our catch for this area. Which is... Uh, I guess we don't have a Radita right now. So this is an eligible catch. Do we have any way to weaken it? Without, I mean, probably Kyle is better at weakening it than Smash Man. Um, Joey three. 
Oh, because the last one was Joey Jr. This would be Joey the third. Well, I accidentally killed it, so so there will be no Joey. There will be no Joey the third. Which I'm honestly okay with. We we were never gonna use him anyway. There's probably an item on here. Really? You guys suck. Wait, is Route 42 different than where we just were? Uh according to this the No. Oh, so no, this is the same route. So no, we don't get to we don't get to use the catch here, which we couldn't have done anyway. I mean, I guess we could have surfed across, but like whatever. We didn't. It's fine. Let me demonstrate the power of the Pokémon I caught. Oh man, I'm so ready for this. Speaking of Mr. of uh, Mrs. Puff. Well, I guess in this case, he's Mr. Puff. Uh, let's, oh, not Ice Punch. I wanted the Thunder Punch. Shoot. Eh, still do a decent damage. And it's just going to use Harden. We're fine. We're just fine. Nice. Nice job, Smash Man. Oh god, what did mom buy now? A useful shopping item. It's in my PC. Alright, we'll see what mom bought. Uh, let's see what this guy wants to do. Hey! This is my secret place. Get lost, you outsider. Dude. Whatever happened to Mr. Puff? She doesn't like to talk about it. Uh, I guess we just headbutt. Really? What is it with, like, just barely not killing these Nidorans? We're, like, almost ten full levels ahead, Smash Main. I, I need you to do a little more. Is this a Nidorino? That's weird that they have you fight essentially a worse version of the guy inside. Weird. Nah, at any rate, we won. I should have used my Moonstone. You have Moonstones? Grandma Pokemon? You must know some pretty rare Pokemon. May I see it, please? No. Ah, oh, it's good to be outside. You feel so fr I'm glad you feel free, man. some <gasps> dude uh, well ice punch diglet that should knock it out I mean if it doesn't at this point then smash me what are you doing uh, geodude we'll keep smash main in Smash Main's doing some work here. I love the flexibility. About to use Doug Trio. I'm fine. Nice. Any town. I don't think there's literally any spot for me to catch Mons here. Uh, I think I actually. Oh, nope. I don't think I can go in. Yeah, he won't let me in until I deal with the rocket stuff. And I don't think I can do that until I go up to the Lake of Rage. 
to north and check out Lake of Rage right now. Okay, well, because this fat guy told me to. Yeah, go ahead and heal my Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Become stronger, but they also move more slowly. Yeah, which is like fine. The red Gyarados. So the problem is, is that I had planned on potentially getting it, and then because we we went and got a Magic Carp, um, I actually can't get the red Gyarados this run. So we're just gonna have to beat it. No, dude, these. Th that's what his sprite. Yeah. Oh. Alright, Route 43. Um, oh, shoot. I didn't really want to do. I can do so much with my Pokemon. It's super fun. I bet, dude. I bet. Okay, but he's a Gar He's a shiny Gyarados, is really what the red Gyarados is. He is, he is a. He is there to, to teach the player that, hey. You can sometimes get Pokemon that are that look different and have this cool little animation at the front. He is there as a teaching mechanism. And he's otherwise just a Gyarados. Sandshrew is cute. Sandshrew is pretty cute. Well, it's a... I would happily catch a Sandshrew if I saw one here, but that was not a Sandshrew for catching. That was... Dude, that is such a missed opportunity. Like, I can't believe that uh, that Onyx's shiny form is not the Crystal Onyx. That is such a missed opportunity because that is such a cool... Like, that's like one of like two good episodes of Orange Islands. And it's wasted... It's just bad. All right, what's our catch here? That is... Oh, interesting. We are eligible to catch Eradicate. I guess my concern is how am I going to weaken it enough? Oh, duh. Rose has Sonic Boom. That's a... Chose... Oh, because it's an adult Joe. Okay. Okay, I like that. So let's... We'll see if we get that. Far. Okay, so two, another Sonic Boom, and then we can Thunder Wave it, and then Eradicate will be ours. Eradicate's data was... The webs on its hind legs enable it to cross rivers. It searches wide areas for food. Alrighty, so I like the, the idea of naming it Joseph. Are there any other suggestions? So I really like the idea of Joseph. Remy? I like your Disney reference there. But yeah, I, I just think it's it's it fits too well. I, I think we're going with Joseph. I'll uh, I'll start spelling it out. If I see a better one, Pack Rat. We're definitely not calling it Pack Rat. I've lost too many fucking games to that stupid. <sighs> so many Pack Rats. Too many Pack Rat. Or, all right, Joseph. Joseph was sent to Bill's PC. Cool. We now have Joseph. Don't know that we'll ever use Joseph, but we have him. Um, do I just go north here? I guess so. Um, 
think I've got some wiggle room for leveling up, so take advantage of a, the situation. Let's smash main some more. XP. Hey, chick. You going to Laker Rage 2? Let's play for a little while. Okay. Picnic Tiffany wants to fight. Cool. Fairy, huh? Encore. I guess we're just using headbutt. We should play with six radicates and all pack radicates. <laughs> uh, that does fit really well thematically. I think a little bit of my soul would die each each time I played the game, but you know. Best part of MTGA versus Paper Magic is I only need four copies of Relentless Rats to run all of them. That is pretty sweet. That they don't, like, force you to buy more copies. I do like that. I mean, so I was actually going through my collection looking for to reevaluate how much, if I have any, you know, valuable cards. And what's it, Dragon's Approach or whatever? It's a three mana sorcery that deals three damage to target player or to, to each opponent, I think. Um, and you can run as many of them as you want in your deck. And I think after like the sixth one you cast, you get to find a dragon and put it into play. Um, it's like a funny build around card, but they're like three bucks to throw right now because they're like people, you know, even though they're just this random common that's not good in anything, if you want to build a deck with it, you need like dozens of copies. Especially if you're, oh, especially if you're doing like an EDH deck, then it's like you need so many copies. It's it is a fun, silly deck to play. I am all for it. Um, but yeah, it's like it's actually easier to just goof around with in arena than it is on. MTGO or in paper. Get this. Some person guy made fun of my Pokemon. Darn it, my Pokemon's grit. Person? This person guy. I wonder who they are talking about. Oh my goodness, why does everyone on this frickin' path have a Nidru King or some variant? I don't think this will knock it out. Ah, it comes so... Hey, it's frozen! Cool. Smash main kicks some butt. Honestly, Smash main is a better Hitmon Chan than Hitmon Chan. All right, let's get Kyle some love now. I love Pokemon. That's why I started. And I'll keep on collecting Pokemon. Okay. Who are we gonna catch up at the Lake of Rage? Because I think all you can catch in the lake are Gyarados and Magikarp. I don't... It's the thing I wanted. You'll give Kyle some... Oh, thanks, babe. Shadow Wolfie Sly Dog. Using strength. Dude, Kyle is kicking this slow bro's butt. 
See, Kyle, you're gonna be like that someday. Only good. I think. Also, how did this guy get a level 19 slow, bro? I'm jealous. So here I am with a level frickin' 28 slow poke. With no sign of it changing anytime soon. How could I do this to you? Well, it wasn't that hard, dude. Alright, we're at the Lake of Rage. So I think we have to... Alright, Gyarados. Oh, I thought we were usually blue. Is there any, like, grass around here? I really, 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 really don't... How this lake was made. Rampaging Gyarados. So there's some evidence that this area was supposed to be, like, a legit, like, town. As by evidence, by the fact you can surf to it. Or you can fly to it. Alright, let's use Headbutt. Alright. I mean, this will be better than another Gyarados. A Hoot Hoot? Do we have a Hoot Hoot? We don't actually have a Hoot Hoot. Um... This is where Rose comes in again with its um, uh, sonic boom. Sonic boom. You know, Rose is really good at catching these uh, underleveled Pokemon. Uh, so we can't use another one, but I can use Thunder Wave. So that should get into a Great Ball pretty easily. All right, Twitch chat. Once again, I need you to name this female Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot's data. It begins to hoot at the same time every day. Some trainers use them in place of clocks. The nickname to Hoot Hoot? Why, yes. Alrighty, folks. Chat, it's your job. What shall we name? <laughs> well, I mean, at this point, <laughs> why? Why are we even? You know, Twitch chat. Just call it boobs. Chattel, if we can do better than that. Hooters, at least, is like, it, I don't know if it's clever, it's a little obvious, but you know, sometimes you gotta take the obvious ones. All right, we're, we're calling it Hooters. Hooters was sent to the PC. I'm not sure we're ever gonna use, I mean, I guess it is worth noting that like a flying type would let me use fly. <laughs> I don't know if it's any good. Forty five experience. Wow. Basically, just want that Pokeball. All right, I'm not wasting my time with this. I can't escape. What? What is the magic carp like swimming in circles around me? It's uh, it's got me right where it wants it, so he can use Splash. Fine, whatever. I'll knock it out. Oh boy, that 31 next P. I don't know where I was, what I was gonna do without it. Oh boy, this level 10 Magikarp, it's got me right where it wants it.
is my time. Oh, I'm trying to. All right. Um. What do I want to fight it with? I mean, it's. It's gonna be a level thirty carp. It's gonna know dragon rage and another. I'm gonna have smash main deal with it. Worst comes to absolute worst, we can always have. Always have uh, Rose deal with it. Oh, I did it again. Huh? We might have to switch out of this. That's. Unless this one hits KOs, which I don't think it will. I mean, it's double super effect. Shoot. Alright, Rose should take this. Okay. Look at okay. Ah, oh, but now I'm in Dragon Rage range. Just hoping it would take it a little better than that. Hurt itself in its confusion. Thrash. Ugh. Alright. Uh, here's hoping I go for. Here we go. Dragon Rage. There we go. Whoo, Nelly. Nice job, Sushi. Everything gets a little piece of the pie. Obtained a red scale. I think the red scale can be given to Mr. Pokemon. I don't remember what he gives you in exchange for it. Oh, can I like run from this? Thank you. Oh god. So I don't know how you get to the those items up there. I'm sure I could look it up, but I also am sure that it doesn't matter all that much. So let's top it off because I don't feel like walking all the way back. Alright, that'll do. Kyle's chip damage won't matter. Alright, that's your thing. This lake is full of Gyarados, but nothing else. So the magic are being forced to evolve. Did you come here because of the rumors? You're K. Rizzle. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumors, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, K. Rizzle. I can tell you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure, man. Excellent. It seems that the lake's magic are being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany has cut the cause. I'll be waiting for you, K. Rizzle. So yeah. Fishing gurus. Oh, yeah, that guy, like, you bring magic carp to him, and he tells you, like, how strong the magic carps are. Or not how strong, how big they are. And like if you get a certain size, you get a reward. Max Ether, eh, that's it's pretty dope for later. I am out late. You could, you could heal my Pokemon. That would be quite nice. <sighs> um, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter what order they're in right now. They're all... All of them could probably use a touch of training. But... Dragonite. Hyper Beam! Oh, wow. He's, like, merciless. Took you, Kirizel. As I thought. That strange radio signal is coming from here. 
stairs are right here. Oh, well. Good to see you know something. Here's what we should split up to check this place. I'll go first. I think... I think my rival's, like, gonna fight me here. He's, and, as per usual, he's gonna start with Haunter. Um... Do I want to fight with something else? So, like, the rock obviously has the type advantage. I think we're going to go that route, because I think it's just going to... I don't think Haunter has any good ways to damage the rock, and then it's just going to take the rock one magnitude, and that should just about take care of it. Oh. Intruder alert! Oh, I forgot. Oh, I guess I misremember. Oh, I'm thinking of the next hideout. Shoot. So yeah, there's n there's not going to be a rival fight down here. Um, I mean, drowsy is really course. All right, come on. Magnitude, like, there we go. There we go. Out to Zubat. Um, I mean, the rock can take care of Zubat. With a rock throw. Nice job, the rock. You did fail. Keep that in mind. It's my turn. There's no... Yeah, that's the pro... I gotta go and hit that button because that's so obnoxious. You just, like... You f you fight these two train... As a kid, I must have fought these two trainers dozens and dozens of times because I would, like, get confused and I'd walk back and forth and it, like... Yeah, it was, like, a dumpster fire. Thankfully, they're really weak even for this area. But you run into them enough times and they start to chip away pretty good. Ratata. Oh, the rock can take care of Ratata. How does magnitude work? Uh, so magnitude rolls a random magnitude. Well, uh, I think it, it follows like a bell curve. So like, um, it, I think it might just be random actually now that I think about it, but basically it, it, it picks a, uh, a magnitude of four to 10. 10 has like 120 power and magnitude four has like 10 power. And magnitude seven is like 90 power or something like that. It's like, it, it basically gets the higher the number, the stronger, the lower, the weaker. So um, at its strongest, magnitude is actually stronger than earthquake. The problem is that it's just inconsistent. And at its weakest is weaker than like mud slap. Nice job. Surveillance cams around the Pokemon statues will keep appearing until you trip a secret switch. I mean, the irony is it like they, right? Like that is very much telling you how to avoid this problem. And yet, as a kid, I still had this problem. Meanwhile, the answer is literally down here. You literally only have to do this for one set of switches by default, like, if you do it right. And yet, I still had trouble. I, my, my child mind. Oh, the mind of children. All right, let's do it. This was once a ninja hideout. There are traps to confound intruders like you. Yeah, and you're standing in front of the computer that operates them. All right, Jed. Two thousand sixteen candidate Jeb, or I guess Jed. That's Jed, Jed. I guess they're different. Whatever. Uh, surfs up, dude. 
We should knock out Magnum Light. They don't have a lot of HP. Yeah. Zoom right through that. What else? Nah, we'll just do it again. That was that was so much fun. Surf's up, dude. to use Magnemite. <sighs> this is probably the biggest flaw with the, the fact, so like you can take any path you want from the fourth and they clearly like wanted to make it so you couldn't be, trainers weren't or people weren't punished too much for going either direction. The negative to that is like guard spec, literally useless. Um, the, the negative to that is you you end up in this weird spot where you you feel way too strong. Like, uh, regardless of which direction you go first, the second direction you go, you just feel super hyper-powered. But, it's fine. Are you alright? Your Pokemon are hurt and tired. Here, give them some of my medicine. Key result. Let's give it our best for Pokemon. For Pokemon! Oh. That was my battle cry. I am... I'm in this for Pokemon. I don't know why Lance didn't take care of this guy. It's possible the guy was hiding. Saw Lance, saw like, I'm almost scared. Oh, I forgot to switch Sushi out. Please. Uh, we need to level up other Pokemon. About to use Venonet. Yeah. Um, start getting Pain Deer some love. Pain Deer, bring the pain! Yeah, grr to you, too. Alright, uh... The door won't open? Well, duh, it has a password that only Team Rocket knows. Oh, yeah, technically there's a door back there that I, like, didn't bother to even try. Any potential Pokemon, any percent speed run in the works. So, I have actually thought of doing speed runs here. It goes back to the speed run problem that I've previously talked about. Like, I'm going to reach a point where, like, the only way I'm going to get better is to grind it. And grinding it isn't particularly fun to watch. Takes two passwords to get into the boss's quarters. Those passwords will only buy a few rockets. That rocket there very graciously told me so. Let's go get the passwords. Um, so there's a couple routes I could go with that. I have technically done some uh, practice on early game red and yellow. So, hypothetically, I could try to start speedrunning those games. Sure, the guy in the keep is incredibly tough. I used to work for Sylph, but now I run research Team Rocket. Also, I'm trying like he needs to be punished. Oh, God. Um, so, there's that. I I asked some... Like, there's some Pokemon speedrunners. Uh, Gunner Maniac is the one I hang out with the most. I actually straight up asked in his chat, like... 
what was a good beginner category. Um, and he told me Pokemon Go, uh, Crystal Manipolis, or um, was pretty good. Uh, or Gold Manipolis, either either of those were fine. Basically, like the Manipolis categories are fairly beginner friendly, and obviously the the beauty with those is you don't have to learn all these manips, which are pretty hard to pull off. That's sort of like the problem with Pokemon speedrunning, like in the modern era. There's just a lot of manipulation that goes on, and so it requires a lot of just trying trying to get the right starter, and so you're trying to manip it. Some of the manips are more reliable than others, so like some of them literally take like like you know, if I do if I start the game up and try to go get a Pokemon I can run the game with, I might get one every 10 or on a good day three every 10 and the weakling's gonna go oh this chick knows the password so we gotta beat her um so to to answer your question mberry i am very much open to the idea of doing pokemon speed runs um it would i would either we do have boobs now. We we did not name uh, Hoot Hoot uh, boobs. We named it Hooters. Wasn't really paying attention. I think whatever it is, Gloom, Smash Smash Man will be fine with Gloom. Um. In general, I. Um, I have thought of doing Pokemon Stadium speedruns, Gym Leader Castle, because that one, those are pretty easy to learn. Um, and are, I mean, the negative to those is that they're very much just grinding for the right stuff to happen. So I, I could do Pokemon Stadium one and two pretty easily. I would need a capture card for that. Pardon me. In general, I would probably want a capture card, like technically speaking, uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 allow for man manipul uh, emulators. Uh, the Game Boy Advanced emulators aren't quite there yet. I mean, there are some speedrunners at the highest levels that argue that the um, if you can meet me, I'll tell you a password to the boss. Oh, I never talked to that girl again to get the other password, so I need to beat this guy and then go back and talk to her. Um, what was I trying to say? Um, shoot. Totally lost my train of thought. Oh, basically that, like, um, if I wanted to do, like, a, a Sapphire speedrun, I definitely would need physical hardware for the run to count. And that's also true of, um, of if I did Stadium. I can't carry anymore. I mean, X specials aren't all that useful anyway. So I literally would just sell it. So I'm not too worried about that. What is this? A protein? Okay, a protein would be quite useful. Uh, is there anything in here that's literally useless? Repels are pretty useless, and they're not worth a lot of money. So let's grab a protein. Um... I'm a big believer in giving these to, like, rather than giving them to fairly weak Pokemon that we might not have, let's give them the Mons we know we're going to have. I'm going to give it to Sushi. His attack rose, perfect. I'm all for it. And now we can go pick up the X special so that we can sell it later. Oh. Okay, can you cut the pass with the boss? 
Raticate's tail. So then we go talk to this chick. Password the boss, slow poke tail. But it's useless and I have two passwords. Well, we have the tails. Wasn't there a set of stairs up here that I ignored? There was. Let's go inside these stairs. What is this? It's it's just for show? Boo. Oh, a kid. I don't really like this. But eliminate you, I must. Oh, oh, oh. A bad guy with a conscience. Let's, uh, let's make him feel bad about that. I think the part about speedrunning as well, like... Speedrunning stuff is really fun to watch at first. I think... I think y'all would generally get kind of bored. Oh, I, I forgot to switch pain deer. Um, it just, it, you, you see a lot of the same stuff over and over. So, I mean, even with like the Dark Souls speed runs we were doing, like, I think doing those every now and then, there would be a lot of, are you a boy or a girl? It's so true. Uh, let's get Smash Main out there. Um, especially if we did crystal speed runs that yeah you're gonna if we were serious about them yeah you're especially after we get like used to just getting through it and we know the route pretty well yeah you're gonna see a lot of restarts I mean even like stadium like as much as I like that because it's so easy to learn um, there would be a lot of restarts like it, Part of why you take bad runs in speedrunning is so you just for learning purposes, right? Like, like it's one thing when you're trying to learn. Oh, I didn't know he was here. Did I tell you I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who's the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. That's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love or trust my Pokemon enough. I'm furious I lost to a bleeding heart like him. I don't have time for the likes of you. Jerk. Ooh. Casual speedruns are chill, though. Yeah, so I think... I think casual speedruns are... Uh, interesting. At first. The thing is, is that I will... I will eventually reach a point where I want to get better, right? That's what sort of happened with Dark Souls, is I reached a point where I was like, cool, I don't want bad runs anymore. I want good runs. But like, as I would sit there grinding for decent runs, um, they just weren't very, in I think in general, my viewership really suffered. And it's because at the end of the day, it's just not all that interesting. Like. You're sort of just hanging out, waiting for a good run to happen. In addition, like, you sort of have to play a lot, which I just don't do a lot of either, right? Like, that being said, I think we could have some fun with, like, one or two speed run attempts just for the sake of, like, seeing what it looks. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, let's get the rocket out there to finish this. In general, I find that, like, 
Um, it's really important around here not to just do the same stuff all the time. Like, I, I genuinely find that when I, when I mix up what I am doing and don't really do things I've already done before too much, I generally get more viewership. Inform the others. Watch out for the table there, dude. The password is Hail Giovanni. Thank you, Murkrow. TM46. What is TM46? Thief? Nah. Thief is like fine in actual Pokemon, albeit still not very good because of how weak it is. But in like the main game, most trainers don't have items equipped to their Pokemon. So it doesn't usually end up being all that good. Um, let's switch that up. We'll heal up Smash Main. We're about to have a fight. Close, enter the password. That right there. Oh. Uh oh. We can't have a brat like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride. You can't take both of us. Let's have a two on two battle. Oh, nope. Okay. Don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. Accomplice, where's your sense of honor? Sure. All right. Rocket Executive, who's clearly supposed to be Jesse, and the other guy's clearly supposed to be James. Glad to see that your Arbok has somehow gotten weaker since Pokemon Yellow. This doesn't knock it out. Okay, cool. Let's say we're gonna have to get Kyle out of there. I mean, we're still gonna probably have to get him out, depending on what's next. Murkrow, yeah. Now we can't have a dark type. Um. We'll have Rose deal with Murkrow. Use your Thunder Shock. That pack's not going to do very much. I really wish Rose would go ahead and learn, like... I mean, the reality is Thunder Punch is a better, um, a more powerful electric move than Thunder Shock. The problem is Rose can't learn Thunder Punch because it doesn't have, you know, any fists. Bloom. Um, it's a pretty good one for Smash Main, actually. Oh my goodness. I use Ice Punch over Fire Punch because they're both equally as good, and um, if it freezes, that's better than it getting burned. Used fire punch there. You really are strong. That's too bad. If you were to join Team Rocket, you'd become an executive. I would, dude, I would rule the world. This hideout's done for. That's fine. The broadcast experiment was a total success. It doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now. You have much bigger plans. We appreciate our true power. We did it. We defeated all the rockets here. 
when I'm concerned about the young guy I battled in the process. Sorry, Curzel, I saw what you were doing, so I just hung back. Now all there's left to do is to turn off that odd radio signal. Clearly, you're no engineer. Seems the machine is causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That should put a stop to this machine from transmitting the strange signal. It's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. Let's split the job. Yep. Let's, uh... Let's both equally feel bad about everything. Uh, we're gonna use the rock for this because these Electrode do no explosion. Oh, interesting. I think this is a catch, right? Was the hideout considered a different area? All right, um, shoot. Shoot. I have no idea if this place is considered a different area or if it's considered... Uh... Uh... uh Town, Pokemon Crystal. Just a souvenir shop. Just a souvenir shop. No, nothing suspicious. Team Hot, referred to as Rocket's Hideout in Gen 2. For a period of time, Rocket, according to uh, once. All the Pokemon found on the trapdoor floor know the move self-destruct. Okay, I think this is considered a new area. I think this is considered new. We will... Exp so... Basically, we are going to try to catch this electrode. If... If it faints, we can't catch another. And if I find out that it wasn't actually a catchable Mon, I have to release it. Um... That being said, it does no explosion, so I'm going to start throwing great balls at it now. Damn it. Alright, well, I guess we don't get one anyway. That's too bad. Alright, well, let's knock out the rest of them. It's not like an Electrode is a particularly good Pokemon anyway. I'm not even sure I would use it over um, Magnemite anyway. Like The only, like, the Steel type sort of adds some random matchups that are good, but it also creates some random matchups that become bad. So it's not strictly better. It's just different. But I guess this is a hypothetical world that we'll never know. Alright, well... Odd signal has finally stopped. Blake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of all Pokemon. HM6. That's Whirlpool. 
teach it to a Pokemon to get across wild water. But keep this in mind, you can only use that out of battle the badge from Mahogany Gym. Here is all the journey to become the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that, will you keep going? I see. No, you're right. If you would give up that easily, you would have never chased it, that dream in the first place. I look forward to seeing you again. All right. Bye, Lance. I don't see it. So I think that actually was would not have been considered a new area. Um, here, let's do this. Mahogany Town, yeah. So by my official rules of what a new area is, that would not be considered a new area. That is part of Mahogany Town. Um, and because I went, entered Mahogany Town and then immediately went north, my one catch was missed. So I would not have been able to keep that electrode anyway. So all's well that ends well, I suppose. So what was the item my mom got me? Oh, a moonstone. That's pretty dope. I don't need it anymore, but still dope. If I catch another Mon that needs the Moonstone to evolve, we, we now have one. Um. So that being said, what does it take to beat the next... Oh, what is it? Mahogany... Crystal. Who's the gym leader here? Price. He's so got a level 27 seal, 29 dugon, and 31 pillow swine. Okay. That's actually pretty doable with our team as is, especially because we're going to fight some mons in the. Smash Main will be able to take care of most of them, and then for Pillow Swine, we can bring in, like, Sushi. The Rock probably will not be very good here. So let's go beat up the Trainers. And then once we're done beating up the Trainers, we'll, uh, we'll go get uh, Crocs. <laughs> I love that Crocs is sort of like comes in for the worst gym leader Pokemon we have. Oh god. That being said, this is kind of a tough situation. I don't love... Meh. That's it? You know, I doubt this can do a ton back to me, but still, that is... That is brutally weak. Alright, what's confusion look like? Worse. Wow. That is brutal. Okay. Um... Get Smash Main to land some Thunder Punches here. Brow is fine. We don't really care. We want to use Thunder Punch. Or Beam isn't too bad. Nice. Nice job, Smash Man. Better than Kyle. You made me wipe out? Well... I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing! E-Gads! 
You're gonna freeze my Pokemon. Border Ronald. Seal. Seal. All right. Uh, let's see if Strength does better against Seal. Isn't too bad. No Strength. All right. That's fine. Nice. I agree to level 29. Trying to learn dis. There's nothing worth teaching disable over. It's so stupid. They teach level 29 to learn dugong. Ugh. Let's just get Smash Man out there. I don't feel like doing the whole switch in, switch out garbage. And Thunder Punch it. Nice. That's fine. Ugh. Aura Beam shouldn't do too much. And we'll headbutt it. Nice. Nice job, Smash Man. And Seal. Alright, we can send Kyle back out to get some good training. and easy. Could not do a thing. Uh, we'll go touch up and then we'll, we'll take on the rest of these SOBs. I think it might actually make sense to bring Crocs in now. Like, I just can't imagine a scenario where we would bring in uh, the Rock. She's got, she's not a, the Pokemon we we're gonna be fighting here. Are just gonna be have too much of an advantage. And while Crocs is at like the right level, it's crazy. He doesn't come with us for the main quest, but he's always there, ready to go when uh, when we need him. I'm sort of actively trying to run into all the trainers here. Has a slippery floor. It's fun, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Are we? It sure feels like we're playing games. Swine Abu. Got some bad news for you, Swine Abu. Endurer. It's going to survive this. That's annoying. Endured the hit. Good job. Also, I can get that tackle in. Swine up. Nah, we're gonna. Kyle can take on Swine up. Cool. And then it should just die here.
You see how serious we- yeah, so serious. You're swine ups. Not your story. I know Price is secret. Oh man, Price has got a secret. And what is- do tell is that secret, Douglas? Um, probably confusion. I think Shelter's got more defense. Yeah, it seems to be the right way to go. Not that Shelter's got a ton going on. Oyster, maybe, but. Yeah, like, like Cloyster. Um, I guess we'll get Rose some love. Let's actually use Thunder Wave. Didn't do a ton. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Nice. Is that when it levels up? Can't remember. Use shelter. Alright, Kyle can take shelter. Okay, I'll tell you Price's secret. Oh, here we go. Rose is evolving! Rose evolved into Magneton. Nice. Out of curiosity, how much more... Eh, it gets a little more health. Not much more, though. Secret behind his power, he meditates under a waterfall daily. That is the least useful advice I've ever heard. But thank you anyway. I appreciate your time. Alright, uh, get Sushi some love here. We'll fight this fight, go heal, and then it'll be time to fight Price. Shouldn't be all that hard. Famous last words, but you know. Roxanne, huh? With Roxanne and Jinx, you say. I didn't do very much. I think I'd literally be better off just using headbutt. Lesson learned. Wouldn't lose to me in skiing. I'm I'm sure that's true. All right. So he's gonna start off with seal and then dugon and then use pillow swine. So I think we have the right team for this job. We'll start with um, smash main. Um, if worse comes to worse, we can use Rose. Um, the only reason I'm not even, like, I guess I could start with Rose. It's 
so wait a minute. So let's compare it. So special attack is 92, 62. Compared to Rose's special. Okay, that is going to deal a lot more damage. All right, so Smash Main is going to be the backup here, I think. But Rose, Rose will start. I don't love Rose's super low. So we got to get up. There we go, we solved the puzzle. We're so good. Yeah, I guess we'll start with Rose, and if things go bad, we can always switch into Smash Main. So, is there anything we want to equip here? Uh, I guess we'll, we'll give the Quick Claw to Rose. There's really nothing else to give at this point. I think that. Just remember to believe in yourself. All right, your legs. I. I believe in my Pokemon and their power. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I too have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. see wind is like his whole thing which does lower your speed but like airs rose was never exactly a speed demon thought he's pillow swine his ace alrighty so now we get that's where we get sushi I'm not too worried about Icy Wind. Yeah. Like, it's really not that powerful. Honestly, I would have been much more worried if he used Blizzard. Like... That's wild to me. Like, even with a speed fall, I'm still going first. It just shows how slow these mons that he's got are. Dugong. Uh, yeah, let's have Rose. Though I wonder if Rose went first because of the Quick Claw. That's the other, that's the only other thing I can think about. We'll probably go first here. I just don't think I care. Wow, I still went. That's... Again, maybe that's the Quick Claw. Rest? Well, that's obnoxious. Stupid Dugongs knowing rest. Alright, let's just let's blow the tits off this thing. A crit, that's exactly what we need. Now we end this. I'm impressed by your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You're worthy of this bad. Not the Glacier Badge. Very cool. Three more badges tonight, folks. Uh, we're, we're picking up speed as, as as these runs tend to go. You, you start to pick things up. Use Whirlpool to get across that. 
to get from me. Problem is, it's icy wind. It inflicts damage and lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshness of winter. I bet. I'm sure icy wind has its uses. No time for a distraction. How things going? I called because some weird happening with the radio broadcast. Talking about Team Rocket. Maybe Team Rocket's return. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take Professor Elm, you are a twat. I'm sorry, but it's true. Alright, uh, let's heal. Um, this is a decent spot to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and just fly um, to Goldenrod, set ourselves up so that we can hop right in next time. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'll just take them back out in a second. I'm literally just doing this to go grab ho uh, Hooters. He's going to fly me to Goldenrod. So I'll, uh, let's give some uh, some thanks in the chats for uh, for Hooters here, doing the doing the Lord's work, making it so that I don't have to walk all the way back. So that's a royal pain in the ass. going on oh my down button got stuck that's annoying uh, and then we go grab oh I guess we don't I guess we don't need uh, once again we don't need Crocs not that we needed him that time either but He's always ready to go, that Crocs. We, we love him. We love him here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. All right, we still have ten more slots to catch Mons, so we're in pretty good shape there. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do before we end for the night is I'm going to go uh, sell my useless items, and then we will call it a night. All right, um, starting at the top. Uh, we don't need a super repel. We definitely don't need revives. Uh, we don't need guard spec. Is that? Nuggets are meant to be sold. Uh, they can't use an X special. All right, and that's good. Cool. All righty. Next time we're gonna have to deal with Team Rocket again. Um, I don't think we need to do any training, to be quite honest. I think we're, uh, which is gonna be helpful because as we saw, uh, just because my intentions were to train a bunch does not mean I actually train a bunch. But uh, oh, we got some. Uh, we got a lot of progress done tonight. We beat three gyms, and we uh, save the save state. Document save states crystal Nuzlocke six. Wow. Well. That was a fun night.
it is interesting that um, we sort of have this like uh, I feel like we have this party there's like some right now key contributors and then there's people we're just desperately trying to get in and you know not that there's anything wrong with that but we definitely have some mons that we need to do a better that are going to be contributors later um and then there's some like smash main's doing okay now i know it's gonna start getting out class later just like wiggly tough just doesn't scale well with the game meanwhile a slow bro is gonna be nice later um so we'll definitely see how this kind of plays out here i i think we're still doing really well um we'll um we'll just have to see if we can stick with it uh but yeah so that's it for this episode of pokemon crystal nuzlocke um the plan is next uh, for those interested uh, we're gonna pick up again next week um, however, we there is another stream this week. Tomorrow, we are going to be continuing our Dark Souls 2 first playthrough. So if you are interested in watching that, we will start that at uh, roughly 6.30. Um, I have no idea where I am. It's been a hot minute since I played that. I think also two weeks. Um, but that should be fun. And uh, once again, thank you all for swinging by. I hope you have a great rest of your nights, and we'll be back here tomorrow with Dark Souls 2. Here is all out. <laughs>